Hey everybody, so, um, would you consider Jack Skellington, 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 yeah, okay, Jack Skellington, Skeleton, so we're gonna do a Jack Skellington, um, project, what the heck, okay, that's no good, using this cup, this glass cup, I found it, oh, nails for the day, guys. Changed up my nails. Got these at Walmart the other yesterday. They were three dollars, two ninety seven. They're cute. I think they're cute. I thought they were kind of pretty fallish looking, Halloweeny. Okay. And so I got this cup from Dollar Tree, and we are going to go ahead and make a Jack Skellington out of him. Oh, oh, I do have white right here. So you want to get some white? paint but I'm gonna do this a little different than I need. I'm not gonna paint the cup. I'm gonna try something different. I see somebody was doing something with my pumpkins. Anyway, we'll let it go. We'll let it go. Try something different. Let me open this up. Okay. So I've got my cup here. Sorry guys, as soon as I walk out here. As soon as I walk out, love my neighbor. You gotta love the neighbors when you're a uh, YouTuber, don't you? Yeah. It's not going to stop. They just started. I'm going to paint the inside of the cup. So let me bring you guys down. I am on my 30 minute lunch break from work. I'm going to bring you down so you guys can see. Keep the cup in frame. I've seen different people where they poured the paint in. So let's try some of that. We're going to pour the paint in. Maybe. If it wants to come out. And this is just a satin uh acrylic paint that we got at Hobby Lobby when we did that big Hobby Lobby clearance deal. See, I'm afraid I'm going to use too much paint this way, but this is how we're going to do it. We're going to see what happens. So, I've seen people doing this where they put the paint on the inside and just kind of swirl it around. I'm just afraid by doing this, I'm going to, one, not get it covered all the way, and two, I'm going to use too much paint. So, as you guys can see, I'm just going to go ahead and paint. Kind of looks like I'm painting with cream, painting cream cheese. I'm seeing kind of painting cream cheese on the, on the cup. We'll see. I just don't want to use, you know me, don't want to use too much. I am so sorry, guys, for that. Okay, so I'm painting, painting. I'm just going to continue to paint my cup. Continue to paint. Use the paint. And I'm just going around and around and around and around and around. You could do this with any cup. You could do this with any glass. And the reason I'm doing it on the inside because I'm not going to use it to drink out of. That's one thing. So if you do plan to use the cup, do not paint the inside of your cup. But I wanted to try it this way. Like I said, I've seen people do it. Uh, don't get your hopes up, guys. My neighbor is still mowing their lawn. Mm. And I'm going this way around the cup. I'm going kind of around and around and around. Trying to get all this paint that I poured in there. Because now it's all settling on the bottom. And, oh god, I'm not even showing you guys. I'm sorry. I am the worst crafter YouTuber. I just don't YouTube craft way. <laughs> I don't do good crafting my YouTube, huh? Showing you guys what I'm doing. I'm trying. I really am trying to get better. And for those of you who need, you know, mom and dad's help, this would be a fun project to do with them. Oh, it's a brother or brother and sister. Just a something fun Halloween, Halloweeny project. And now what I'm trying to do, so you see here, if you guys can see, I'm trying just to get all the lines that are coming through. And so I'm just kind of taking the brush and just kind of dabbing. And I'm just dabbing where there's lines. Because I think if I try to continue to paint. Oh, you know, guys, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm getting it out. I'm trying to get it in. There we go. 
and then I'm just dabbing. I'm dabbing where there's holes, where I can see holes. I'm gonna go to the, this side here. I'll show you a little better. So I'm just kind of see this. I'm just dabbing along with my paint, with my brush, to cover up those holes. So I don't have, sorry guys. Okay, we got some more here. So I'm just kind of dab them on. Dab, dab, dab. Guys, check out your, your Dollar Trees. This, my, I have one Dollar Tree in town. I have a friend they're closing this particular Dollar Tree now that we got the bigger Dollar Tree in it here now. And, um, all their glassware, dishes, anything that had to do, you know, with dishes was uh, marked down to 75 cents. So, just kind of check it out. You never know, you know, what could be going on. And that's so I got picked this one up. It was, I should have picked up two. I just picked up one. But that's okay. I'm going to probably end up sending this to Cassie in Washington. I was thinking about putting like a little succulent in it or something. You know, putting, just put, using it as a planter is what I plan to do. Guys, I'm just having, now we got the train. <laughs> now we got the train. Just perfect, huh? Okay. And you can see inside too where you may have some holes. And like I said, when you look at the cup itself, you can see where you have holes. I hope you're not getting the glare. You might be getting the glare. And just continue. I'm just continuing to dab so I can get those spots. See, you can see on this side, this one. I hope you guys can see that. <laughs> and then at this point, you can continue to dab. You can paint. It's completely up to you because it is yours. You do it as. You're going to just do it to where you you're happy with it you could even do this at christmas and do a snowman make us some kind of snowman if you didn't want to do a jack skellington right, now see when i put it down you don't really see but when i put it up to the light you can see through it so i'm going to continue i'm going to continue painting and dabbing and talking to y'all in hopes that we can get this Get this right. <laughs> oh, guys, we're getting ready for our trip to Universal. I've ordered my scooter. If anyone is going to Disney World or Universal, I go, th I go through Florida Mobility. The lady's name is Michelle. She is really, she's been so helpful, and they really do want to accommodate you. And... This time I'm trying out, if you see our vlogs from March of this year, where we first bought, got the scooter, we went with the big Victory scooter, the three, but this time we're going to try the Go-Go, which is their smaller scooter, and see how that one does. Okay, come on. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get those, I think I'm just going to do some strokes here. Okay, what do you think? So see, I got it all painted. And you can go to later, since it is being painted on the inside, and you're going to do the face on the outside. It's not like you can't go back in after this dries and paint your, you know, paint more, add more paint. I didn't even think about that. I was just like, oh, I gotta get this done. And don't worry if you get up down the top. It's just paint. Because oh, I was not prepared. I just came down here and said, I'm gonna do a video for you guys. I should put it, tell my neighbors, hey, no mowing the lawn during the day. Because that's when Jeremy's not here. And I can film my videos. Yeah, that would go over really well. <laughs> Especially around here, guys. My neighbors love to mow their lawn and keep their yards looking nice. 
Okay, I've got the one side, so we're just going to go ahead. I'm going to do his face on this side. Now, you can do it a couple different ways. You can glue a face on there using paper. You can um, use sharp black Sharpies. You can paint. You can use black paint, and that's my plan is to use some black paint on the side here. You could do even more than one face if you wanted to. Now, I don't even have, I'm going to do this from memory. So, guys, if I, if it looks sillier than silly, just know that's because I'm doing it from memory. I'm sorry, guys, I was looking for my, for my washcloth that I was rinsing off my brushes with and I can't seem to find it. Hmm. Okay. Also, too, there's a way that you can get this and I'll look it up and I'll put it in the description box. That you can bake it at a very low heat to keep it from peeling off. Okay, let's see now. We're gonna... Do I have... I did not grab... I'm going to go with a smaller brush. I've got a smaller brush here. This is my smaller brush. And I'm going to get my black paint here. And I'm going to do... See, I could try my, my Sharpie. But my Sharpie doesn't work that well. Let's see. I'm going to do it right about here. And I said you can do it anywhere you want. We're going to go ahead and draw the circle here. For one eye, a circle for another eye, a circle for his, he has a circle nose, right? Yeah, his fine nose. A circle for his nose, I feel like we're looking like more of a scarecrow. And like I said, I just kind of did this from memory. I don't know if you guys can see it. Now I'm going to take my paint. We'll see how that goes. I don't consider myself a painter, so this is where I get nervous. But, as I've said before, you can't hurt it. Nothing can hurt it. You can't hurt. It's yours. So, if someone says something about it, you can just say, though, I meant to do it that way. You know? Okay, so we got one eye. And don't worry, we'll be filling them in. I'm just right now doing their outlines. Because I am shaking. So, two eyes. I think it's the nose. I don't think he has that nose there, does he? So, you know what? This is my skeleton mug. It's not actually a Jack Skellington. It's just a skeleton mug. How's that? We'll go with that. <laughs> so, I'm painting on. So, here we go. That's just my skeleton mug. That's what it's going to be. I'm going to do some more of the eyes. Get it thicker. Get it painted. You could even, if you wanted to, guys, you could do, like, green eyes. Or we could, you could fill it in with green eyes. You can make this a girl. You could do so many different things with it. And I, let's see. Oops. And after two, don't touch it for a while because, of course, since we are painting on the glass, it is going to smear. So, so far, what do you think? Not bad, huh? It could be a ghost, ma. You could also make him a ghost. You could say he was a ghost. So, if anyone asks, he's either a ghost or he is a skeleton. You could do so much. You could draw all kinds of different, multiple different faces on here. Okay. Let's see, guys, what do you think? I think I might add some little. I'm adding the little like stitches to his mouth. Okay. See? Cute, huh? He's cute. I think it's coming out pretty cute. 
and just continue I'm just continuing to add more paint and that basically guys is how I'm doing my skeleton little mug what do you think I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys try I will find out how you can get it to stay on um, I think you bake it a very very low heat for a little bit and it kind of it like glazes it on there I can't remember so guys like subscribe thank you for watching thank you for coming along on a ride and remember to like and subscribe is free and be kind to yourself be kind to others I hope you guys do your little skeleton or your ghost or your jack or whatever you want to do love you all appreciate you all and we will see you on the flip side bye guys